Hi friends! Today we have very interesting video during which we will make inverter type apparatus for contact wielding. But this apparatus isn't simple. And it all started with the fact that after a long time a parcel came to me, about which I had forgotten. These are nickel plates for batteries connecting. They were the cause of the new project. The project seems unthinkable, even stupid, but you must change your mind if you watch this video. We all saw contact welding machines, a huge transformer with coils of thick wire in the secondary winding, to get currents of couple hundred and even thousands of amperes. And this is a Chinese device for batteries wielding with a current of up to 500 amps and costing several hundred dollars. And this is our contact welding machine with a maximum current of 200-220 amps. You can see the size yourself. The weight is about 200 grams. The principle is partly a novelty. As for pulse wending systems, pulse technology is generally not used. In my version, a simple pulse circuit is used. Plus, it has a low voltage option, and you can power such a device from a 12 volt battery and has a completely portable design. Just now, the device looks ugly. It is without the box and it is not assembled in the best way. But I want to know that this is a prototype and is assembled only for tests. So we will not fixate ourselves on the external appearance. In the future, if it justifies itself, I will make a few improvements, particularly related to protection. It is a two-stroke circuit of a popular auto generator, about which I spoke so much that no sense to explain again how it works. In the description you will find links to some of my videos with variants of using this circuit. All we need are two powerful field effect transistors, a pulse transformer and a resonant capacitor. The circuit is started with a low current button. The operating frequency depends on the capacitance of the resonant capacitor and the inductance of the primary winding of the transformer. The desired range is 20 to 50 kHz. The frequency can be calculated with program. A link to the online calculator can be found in the description. Notice important point. In theory, larger capacitance means greater current in the primary winding. But it's not worth overusing. I do not recommend use capacitor of more than 2 microfarad. Otherwise, the operating frequency will be in the audio range. Which means that the transformer will whistle during operation. Transistors are ERFP150. Very powerful, can be any others with a current of 40 amps and voltage of at least 50 volts. I advise to use in the package TO247, although it is possible TO220. A small radiator is attached to FATs. Of course, they are isolated from the radiator. Throttle is wound with two wires, 1.5 mm each. The number of turns can vary from 10 to 30. The transformer is taken from the computer power supply of 450 watts. All original windings removed. The new primary winding contains 2 to 3 or 2 to 5 turns. Wound by a bundle of three wires, each is 1 mm. Total diameter of the primary winding wire is from 2 to 4.5 mm. Number of wires in bundle and diameter of each is up to your choice. Winding insulated with heat resistant tape. Then wound the secondary, which contains one incomplete turn. The winding was made by a copper tape. Thickness of 1.5 mm and width of 22 mm. Later, the tape was fixed with epoxy adhesive. To the tape are soldered brass terminals, in which are inserted single core copper wires with sharp edges. Wire diameter is 2 mm. This is essentially copper electrodes. The box for me is not very important, so for now I decided to postpone. In the future, a thick fiberglass box is planned. Now, let's look what this baby can. Agree, it's not bad. Works with small device as it should with a wide range of supply voltage from 6 to 24 volts. If you want to feed from the network, then take computer power supply and connect the device to the 12 volt bus. Or use lithium polymer batteries with a high recoil current and get a literally pocket wielding machine. Some will ask, why need a circuit and whether you can't wielding directly from the battery? Answer is no. 
First, the contact welding voltage should be from 1.5 to 4 volts, a little less or more. The circuit just lowers the voltage to the specified values and provides the desired current. Second, if you're welding directly from the battery, you instantly ruin it due to very high currents that are generated during a short circuit and naturally it is not safe. This version meets all requirements. Now let's speak about the shortcomings. There are quite a few of them. Firstly, the circuit will work correctly from a powerful power source. The slightest drawdown on current can cause the transistors to burn out. For example, I feed it from a battery of uninterruptible power supply. At second, must weld for a short time, no more than 2 seconds at a time. Then a minimum of 2 to 3 seconds break. Of the merits, an extremely low cost, about $5, only transistors cost money. The rest can be found in old trash. Compact size, high power, up current is quite enough for welding batteries and even more large size iron. Remember, if you repeat construction, all risks is up to you. I burned a couple of powerful transistors purely for my fault, because weld continuously for more than 5 seconds. And the FATs were without a radiator. Be sure to use the input fuse. And if possible, I strongly advise you to choose the transistors with the smallest capacity value of the gate. Friends, on this I have to say goodbye. All the necessary information is in the description. With you was Akakasyan.